The next section you come to looks very different than the acidic cove forest. All of a sudden, there's no evergreens in this exhibit, and you're met with, in the springtime, a solid, massive carpet of wildflowers. This is probably my favorite section of the trail in the spring, simply because there are just so many hundreds of species of plants that green up and color up the area. This is very different from the acidic cove forest because of the bedrock that occurs here. This is a basic cove forest or a rich cove forest. And that basic or rich refers to the rock type which builds the soil type. The rock found here in South Carolina that leads to the higher pH of this habitat is a rock called amphibolite. It's this dark black rock that's situated throughout the exhibit here. And that dark black rock is high in magnesium and in some cases high in calcium. And that bumps up the pH and allows nutrients to be much more available for plants. And so if nutrients are abundant, you don't have to worry about holding on to your leaves over the winter like evergreens do. And you can toss away those nutrients at the end of the growing season and not worry about where you're gonna replenish them from the next year. So the carpet of wildflowers you see before you is pretty typical up in the Bridge Cove Forest.